This video is about a commonly used product in telecommunication field, especially in field work, that is visual fault locator or in short VFL. Some people call it torch also, but it is a very entirely different product. VFL usually emits a red light output. The VFL in my hand is also having the red light output itself. As you can see this. It is an excimer laser output with 650 nanometer wavelength and also power output of 10 milliwatt maximum. VFL is a very cheap product and is available in all online sites. I purchased this from Amazon for just 1000 rupees. It is operated using two AA batteries. Now I will show you a few uh, interesting things that you can do using a VFL. Now here I am going to show how a VFL and an optical fiber patch cord works together. So this is a VFL which I had explained before. And here I have taken a SCPC fiber optical single mode fiber patch pigtail actually. So in the pigtail you can see that there is optical fiber coverings and the optical fiber at the tip difficult to see yeah the tip can be seen now so now I'm, I'm just going to show how this red light passing through the optical fiber patch cord gives an effect so I'm just going to switch off my uh, light to show you the effect clearly yes so i have switched off the light so now we can see how an optical fiber will be working together with the vfl or a 650 nanometer red wavelength light so in this vfl they have two options actually there is the continuous wave option and a glint option which means continuous wave means we'll get a continuous output and glint means we'll get a blinking output i'll show you both of them First is a continuous wave output, we will get a straight line continuously and in the glint option we will get a flickering light. So both these options can be used for the fiber cut uh, analysis in the net fiber networks usually. In the fiber networks they will insert the uh, end point of the fibers in the VFL like this. And they will switch on the VFL and wherever there is a fiber cut the light will come out like this so in the fiber end you can see the light is glowing oh, yeah. in the camera you can see a flower is created this refraction property of light is really beautiful Okay, so this light, when I, I am focusing it into a reflective, a mildly reflective surface, so you can see the brightness of the light focused. And when I keep it very close, just a closer at it, you can see the light starts to flicker. It is because of the back reflecting property or the reflective nature of the surface in which it is reflected. So as I move the distance, you can see the light diameter get increased and it gradually get distorted. This okay. So this is how a light travels inside an optical fiber. So this light I am now focusing, I will just show you one major thing in op optical fiber industry, major point in my optical fiber industry. I am focusing this light into this reflective surface. Just see, I am just bending this optical fiber. You can see the output and the can see how the light spot has become minimum and the point where I have bended it the light start to come out through that point you can bend another point and see so 
so this is known as bending loss so you can see now suppose if i am bending light bending the fiber here my output light is almost zero which means <clears throat> in a network if suppose there is a huge bend in the fiber my output light will not be coming out which means it is it will become a very useless see after continuous bending it has that point has got broken and now the light is not reaching reaching the out so this is the effect of bending loss bending of the fiber optical fiber so now we can see just a spot in the fiber so this has become now a point where we can this is just pigtail will not give you output now properly since there is a bending or a breakage has happened in the fiber this vfl is used for small distance finding the break if the break is in a very long distances we usually use an otd for finding where the break is now i am passing to a next type of experiment which i am going to do with the vfl and a patch cord this is a optical fiber patch cord with both uh, sides connectorized with F sc apc connectors so i have connected one end of the uh, patch cord to the vfl and now i am switching on my vfl So you can see the light output there. The light output is more clear and uh, diamond shape is be better compared to the pigtail output because the pigtail is has a, having a randomly cut uh, fiber end, which is which because of which we were getting a very uh, unstructured kind of output spot. Here you can see a very perfect spot here, and I, when I move it. can see there are as a distance increases you can see two kind of spots getting formed this is what we call as modes this is why single mode fiber and multi mode fiber has formed is named from so if i bend this fiber you can see the modes more clear so that is how fiber modes are formed my next experiment is to show total internal reflection this must be an experiment you would have done in your school days i am going to do it with my vfl so i have connected the vfl and patch cord the patch cord is connected because the vfl light will not be focused if i use it without a patch cord i am switching on the vfl you can see the light output i am focusing it through the water i can you can see there is a straight line passing through the middle of the glass now i am just bending the light you can see the light has gone the spot output spot has changed now i am again bending now we can see the total internal reflection light so the light has crossed the critical angle because of it which it has changed its path reflected completely back into the same medium and Uh, this is what is called as total internal reflection you can see the total internal reflected light output or just blink this light also for a so the output is coming out in the spot where this is how the bending of light 
in a different from one medium to another you this is according to the snell's law it has crossed the critical angle because of which the light has bent this is called total internal reflection so this is a total internal reflected light output i am just going to change the refractive index of what so i am just adding pieces of some amount of alcohol into the water and see the effect See the light has started a different you can see how the alcohol is spreading in the water. The effect of light still total internal reflection is happening but with a scattered light the light has started to scatter. will see the reaction after the alcohol gets settled up totally. Here I am going to do another experiment on total internal reflection. For that I am using a plastic stick. This is actually very, uh, very widely available. This is a glue stick actually, glue gun which is used with a glue gun. So you can take that and I just focus the switch on the light. I'm just focusing it on the end of the glue stick. You can see the light started focusing on the center and it is traveling coming to the end this is actually you can consider this road as a core of an optical fiber now we can see how the light entering process and light traveling process is happening using this in the according to the core how it happens this same way it you can demonstrate it in the blue stick so So you can see when I move the light away from the end of the stick, it is getting diminished. The end light is getting focused. So it is this proves that it is very important that the light should be falling in the middle of the core of the optical fiber within the acceptance core. We can prove that again by just trying to tilt the light. So if it is within the acceptance cone, the light will be focused within the core of the fiber. You can see the total internal reflection property occurring here. So this is how an acceptance cone is very important for a optical fiber. Upset acceptance cone and acceptance angle is shown through this experiment.